Hey there, I'm Kevin Hartman. I will be your instructor for digital marketing analytics in theory and in practice. I am so excited to be here. So excited to have you on this journey with me. This is a tremendously exciting time to be involved in digital marketing. Uh, and I hope this course will give you that kind of foundational insight that you need to be effective in the space. Let's begin here with what this course is not. Um, this course is not a deep dive into web metrics, statistical theory, or research methods. Uh, there, there's, uh, I'm kind of operating with an assumption that some of this stuff you're bringing to the table, uh, some of the things you understand, and more importantly, those things that you don't, you can easily branch out into other courses to learn these things, um, or even in some of the resources that we're providing. Uh, there are uh, glossaries and others at the, uh, at the back that will give you good insight into metrics. We don't need to waste our time in this course really getting deep there. This is not a programming workshop. Look, the use of tools, particularly something like a SQL, Python, R, are tremendously important for analysts working in the digital space. It's how we collect data and how we use data. But our time together is too short and too valuable, frankly, for us to get really deep into programming. So there are other courses that you can use to build that skill and capability, which again is very important. This is not the course for that. This is also not a series of product demos. It would be very, very easy for me to stand up here and just show you, demonstrate different products in use. That would be a bit of a cheat. Uh, I think I'd cheat you of the experience that I want to provide in this course by giving you theory, giving you some hands-on application for sure, but not just a series of product demos. And then finally, you're not going to earn any kind of accreditation in a tool, but believe me, we will talk a lot about tools and we will talk about ways that you can evaluate the tool market and make the right choices for you as an analyst. Let's talk about what this course is, because it is a number of things. It is a marketer's approach to data analytics. I have been in this space for literally decades um, always on the marketing and strategy end, and those are the things, that kind of experience is what I want to bring to bear in this course for you. This is a healthy mix of theory and practical application. I don't want to just teach you how to do things, I want you to understand why you are doing things, right, and provide you with that kind of framework and the insights that you need to make decisions. This is also an exploration of contemporary topics, issues, challenges surrounding analytics. As I said, this is a tremendously exciting time to be involved in the digital space. And so we will certainly explore those things as they stand today. Finally, and probably most importantly, what this course will do, what it is, is a primer on how you as an analyst can choose the right tools, use the most efficient analysis techniques, and present your message most effectively. Look, these are the building blocks of what it means to be an analyst. Uh, and that's what you will earn in this course. So some of those objectives. Uh, I hope you will gain an understanding of the motivations behind data collection that analysts use, the, the choices they make, the things that are uh, informing their, uh, their decisions as analytics professionals. I want you to understand frameworks and approaches to analyzing data, particularly consumer data, which uh, we'll talk quite a bit about. I want you to earn a familiarity with tools. As I said, tools play a tremendously important part in, in this practice, in this science, and so we will definitely cover quite a few of them. I want you to have a good understanding of the contemporary analytics and measurement opportunities, and particularly those challenges, because again, they are so important in this space today. And finally, I want you to learn approaches at effective data storytelling. That is the most important skill that you can have. Being an analyst that can take a mountain of data and tell a story from it, that's what I really want you to get out of this course. Some things um, that are important for the analyst. Let's, let's look at what should be in your toolbox. Frankly, no matter how advanced we've gotten as a science, no, mat no matter how much analytics has changed, Microsoft PowerPoint, Keynote, Google Slides, they are, these are still the language of business. It's important for you to be able to translate the ideas that you will collect and the stories you want to tell and present those using one of those formats. So those are very important for us as an analyst. Excel, Google Sheets, look, no matter how much data we're working with, 
no matter how much opportunity there is, there is still such an important role for tools like Excel and Sheets as an analyst. So those are very important things for us to collect. As well as very uh, heavy duty tools such as SQL, Python, R, look, to, to do the transformative types of analysis that we want to do with all the data that we have available for us, these tools are critically important for you as an analyst. So choosing which ones fit your work will be, will be important for you. Visualizing that data is also equally as important. And for here, look, something like Tableau is just such a flexible, free, right, accessible tool that is important for us as an analyst to understand. If we are working in interactive data visualization, a tool called D3 is the gold standard for interactive data visualization and something that we'll talk a little bit about in this course. And then finally, if you are doing really high level graphics and want to present things in the best possible light, understanding the creative suite from Adobe, Photoshop, Illustrator, how those can be used to effectively and quickly make really great client ready graphics are another set of tools that any analyst should con consider. A few resources, there's a, a textbook that I've written uh, which really is the, the fruit of 25 years, decades of myself working in digital. Even before there really was a digital, I was working in the space. And so I've, I've hoped to capture a lot of that insight as well as pulled all the way through uh, into, into the contemporary issues around analytics uh, that I hope you enjoy uh, and hope you find in engaging uh, and, and valuable. Uh, there's another book that I think is really important for us as analysts to understand. That is a, a work called Everybody Lies uh, by Seth Stevens, David Witts. Uh, tremendous insight into big data, the kind of digital data that we have available to ourselves today with a particular focus on Google search data and the importance there. It's a really fun read as well. Avinash Kosick has produced a work called Web Analytics 2.0, which will get into the guts, the, the, the infrastructure of data analytics, and I think a tremendous resource as well for any analyst to have. Anything, frankly, from David McCandless will demonstrate how data can be presented in a beautiful way, in a way that makes instant connection with consumers and really inspire us as data visualization specialists and data designers. Structuring the way that we approach data visualization. There's a couple works I would recommend. One is uh, a, a book called Good Charts from Scott Baranato, which, which gives great uh, process understanding and really frameworks to, to, for you as an analyst to use as you approach creating data visualization. Then a guide by a woman named Donna Wong, uh, who was for years the, the lead uh, uh, head of data visualization for the Wall Street Journal. Donna does a number of things tremendously well, but, but more than anything, she gives really great insight into the attention to detail that is needed as we are, as analysts, constructing data visualization. And then finally, uh, if we are interested in interactive uh, data visualization, if that is a, a place that fits the work that you do, D3, again, is the most important and, and um, practical tool for us to understand. There's a work by Murray called Interactive Data Visualization that can help you build the skill that you need to be a successful D3 artist and to use that tool effectively. Putting all those tools and all those, those products in your workbook, uh, in your, um, your uh, toolkit, I think will make you, make you certainly a better analyst. I am so excited to be here with you on this journey and to lead you through digital marketing analytics in theory and in practice.